what's going on true believers Tevin C here and um, it's been a while since I checked in with my best friend my good buddy my pal friend to the end dark side Phil and as you see here we had the weekend preview it's been a while since we've, we've, we've done this I have to space out the words we're at the week in preview it's been a while since we've done this but this is a weekend preview September 6, 2015, Mario Maker, Metal Gear Solid 5, Mad Max, Fallout, Fallout, all capital letters. 45 likes, 27 dislikes. Give it a like if you want to. Give it a dislike if you want to. He posted his first comment. First comment says, first comment dot suck it, which is fan interaction. And um, this is a comment I want to point out. It's going to makes sense later on but it says you don't have time to go through your old playthroughs for a montage don't make it a patreon goal and someone else replied and said he's being straight up lazy no surprise with Phil these days when you see this video let me know if these comments still exist because I'm pretty sure they won't because DSP loves to monitor his comments fair enough anyway I wanted to show this because this is really fucking good and I guess you can consider it fan art for me, even though I don't really consider people that watch my videos as fans. But this is 10 times better than that fucking 8-bit bullshit DSP got on his gaming channel. So, yeah, just wanted to show that. And uh, if, you, if you tweet this girl, don't tweet her some stupid shit because she made a picture for me. Even if you don't like me, you have to admit this is a really good fucking picture. But... Uh, let's get the show on the road. 23 minute and 52 second long video. So maybe my video is going to be less than 40 minutes. We shall see. Depends on how much I have to actually talk about. And depends on how much dead air is in the beginning of the video. There we go. Oh boy. Let's see what's going on in the world, in, in the world of dark side today. As I... That's for my audio levels. Hello, everyone. Dark side Hello, field everyone. Here. Wow, I actually got it right this week. The, Hello, I can't everyone. believe it. Look at this. The camera is the right thing. The lighting is correct. Everything is good. Wow, I actually... I love the lighting is correct when he looks like a fucking zombie in every video he makes. He, he's gray as hell. Yeah, we can preview correctly for once. Well, Hello, whatever. everyone, and welcome. Hello, Tonight is Sunday, mm -hmm. September 6, 2015. I'm Dark Side Phil, and welcome to the now, Week in Preview. We are... He says tonight is Sunday. I mean, you know, fair enough, he uploaded this on Sunday, but this video went live. It was like 10-something my time, so most of the people that see this won't see it on Sunday, but... Now, well, in the second week of September, videos and we're moving in some firmly kind of ahead in this hardcore gaming season. Hardcore gaming season. Uh, we're right in the middle of several different playthroughs and projects. Projects. So what I want to wait, do wait, in this wait. week in preview. Playthroughs and projects. A project is a playthrough for him. Literally playing a game and talking and uploading to YouTube is a project to him. It's no it's no difference. That's the project. A project isn't like Project 7, which we're not going to talk about anymore, of course, because, duh. And a project isn't like, you know, a, a video series or like a montage. No. A project is me playing a game cutting it up in some pieces and uploading it to YouTube. So this is a project. This video I'm recording right now, this is a project. So, uh, you know, some projects, some projects in the works. Uh, and get everyone up to speed. I want to all right. explain to everyone what's been going projects. on, let you know what to expect this coming week. Uh, I know there's a lot of questions about when am I going to see, oh, when is this going to happen? to say when in the beginning, welcome, um, people. I don't think I said my name, but welcome, people. Tevin C here. And we're doing this video under a different YouTube channel because my other YouTube channel is more or less dead because it got fucked over by um, some stuff that I'm not going to talk about anymore because we're going to push on positively. And uh, yeah, I'm doing videos on this channel from now on. And I might post stuff on the old channel. I got an idea that's been whirling around in my head for the last few hours that I might go through it and I'll post that on the old channel just to even put stuff there but pretty much everything from now on is going to be going on this channel pretty much which is disappointing because I honestly would have 
like to have two different channels because I got really really long videos that I don't want to have on the same channel with not as long videos but you gotta roll with the punches uh, you gotta do what you gotta do a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do as Tommy Pickles used to say and uh, yeah something else I wanted to say in the beginning of this video but I forgot so let's just keep going happen so I want to try to clarify as much of that as possible as I can mm -hmm. in this video okay okay uh, before we get started with the schedule and explanations of projects and everything I should very have briefly, for this video thank you to those who pledged to my account. patreon account in the month of August FYI you know August ended so that window Thanks has for the money closed. dummies and this week everyone who's pledged was basically getting processed mm -hmm. by patreon I, I once again as usual this first week of the month, kind of play it by ear to see, gee, I wonder if we're going to hit all of our goals. The good news is we hit all the goals for August. Yeah, because so, you lower the amounts. Yes, at the end of September, we're going no to have an Indies Mini honest. Marathon, which is going to be awesome. I haven't done one in a few months, and I'm very excited to do that. And there'll be mm -hmm. more info forthcoming on that. However, However, as usual, there was a lot of people who were declined when they were mm -hmm. getting their pledges uh, charged. And Trolls. I don't know what the reasoning, why this happens every month. Some people... It's happened more than once. Trolls. Some people, they pledge, and then it just never goes through. Trolls. FYI, if you were declined, I sent I you a you message on Patreon. You must Remember fix your you info for the last next month. couple of days, because by the end of this How coming you, week, yeah, you said that last I'm going month. to be working on das the perks. So if you were a patron in the month of August, well. your perks are coming shortly. Within about a week's time, I'll be processing and working on all of those. Is this is the Patreon okay. preview or the weekend <clears throat> preview? So in particular... I wanted to throw that out there and let everyone know mm -hmm. because I know some people had questions about, gee, are we going to be doing the Indies Marathon this but month? Remember, people on Twitch a montage this he month. And yes, the good news is there will Twitch be a montage bags. in the month of September. It's the going to be the best and worst bag. of the Indies Classics. Alan Wake. Yes, it was actually Alan Wake, which the patrons voted on throughout the month of August and nominated as the next DSP Classics playthrough. Now, mm -hmm. I have to say this. I love this is this. a little different than the last one I that I did. If you remember when I did Start the Party... That was, a, 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 not start the party, excuse me. <laughs> when I did TV Superstars, that was the last DSP Classics montage that I did. Um, that was a short playthrough. It was just like, I think around 20 parts or so. Mm -hmm. So once I went through all those videos, which took me, you know, a couple hours, I was able to pick out the funniest parts and make the edited videos. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Alan Wake is a longer playthrough than that. We're talking five plus hours, if I remember correctly. I think it was like six, seven hours of a playthrough. Mm -hmm. And that's great because the game was good, but... Let's face it, Alan Wake I played in what, 2009, 2010? Mm -hmm. I don't really remember much of the playthrough. I remember a few minor things, like I remember the power going off. I remember I one that. or two funny things in the, in the forest, although I have no idea what parts of the playthrough that was. Mm -hmm. So, really, I couldn't easily go back and make this montage series. So, FYI, I have made a thread on thekingofhate.com in the playthrough section of the forums where I please am, am invoking you, please, 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 please. post up your favorite moments of the playthrough because people want to see this montage series is what they voted for but sorry I don't have eight hours to sit here and watch my own playthrough you know what I mean you are the guys and gals who watch that playthrough and quite honestly you probably have a lot more of a recollection of your favorite wow. parts of that playthrough than I do so rack your brains think I back head to the forums this, nominate your I was spoiled on this on Twitter by uh, Dragon Killer and I was just floored when I when I saw his um you know, his quotation of what DSP said, and hearing him actually say it, I'm, I'm mind-fucked. This dude has the nerve to say, give me money, and I'm going to make a montage. Remember when he made montages for free, when he used to do the, the best and worst of insert game here? Remember when he was supposed to do it for Minecraft and Bloodborne, and he got those videos taken down? Allegedly, because someone else came on and said they didn't. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. But remember when he did free montages of each individual game and then he stopped? And then montages turned into a Patreon goal and he started doing them every month? Yeah, he gets paid, paid th through uh, Patreon to do montages, $500 a month. And instead of, you know, he could easily just watch it. Or he could even, he could play it in the background. He could start his, um, I forgot the name of the fucking game. But he could start the game, he could start the playthrough in the background and do other stuff while he's listening to it. He could listen to himself talk. When he says something interesting or he laughs at something, he look at the screen and say, oh, something happened here. 
let me write this down and let me cut this part out. He could do that. And it wouldn't take any extra time while he looking at videos and putting videos in playlists or tagging videos. He could let this shit play in the background. You know, uh, fucking God forbid he actually takes time and sit down and pay attention. You know, even if he doesn't want to do that, he can still let the shit play in the background. When I used to edit my playthroughs a long time ago, but even when I do, uh, when I, when I, when I do, um, stream highlights now, you know, some stuff I remember, sometimes I don't remember stuff, but I let the whole stream play in the background. And if I, if my ear catch something, I go to that part and find it and cut it out. It takes no extra effort to do that. It's the equivalent of listening to a, a fucking ebook. He can't even do that. He wants. To, he has the nerve to ask his fans to give him money to do a montage every month, and then he says, "Well, I played the game in 2009, so I don't remember it. So you watch it and find parts for me to put in the montage." You just said yourself you played it in 2009. No one fucking remembers it. This is why you make the montage because no one remembers it. You make the montage to make us remember. If I have to sit on YouTube and watch his playthrough of it, what's the point of me watching the montage? I watch the playthrough. This is the definition of laziness. The definition. The definition. This is like going to McDonald's and saying, I want a double cheeseburger. And the lady at the counter or the man at the counter give you a slab of meat, some lettuce, some cheese, and some bread, and say, go in the back, the fryer already turned on. Pay us when you're done making the fucking burger. Phenomenal. Favorite moments, and Just I'll use that as a guideline phenomenal. as I jump around the videos later this month when I start working on that montage series. And you made He already had his fans do all of his artwork for him, and that fucked him over. Now he want to get his fans to go back and watch his old videos from five, six years ago, find parts they like, and then let him know about the part they like. Do you have any fucking shame? You say, well, when is that going to happen? That's going to happen probably the middle to second half fucking of September, because right now I'm really kind of applying myself. And it's not, this is the last time I'm going to talk about it. It's not even long. It's not even long. It's a short playthrough. He said it's like five or six hours or some shit. Some shit. It's probably like seven or eight hours because it's DSP. That takes no effort, dude. You could you could sit in the bed and play that shit on your iPhone or something because you got like a, a fancy phone. You sit in the bed and play that shit on your phone and have your headphones looked up. You hear an interesting part. You say, okay, this interesting part happened on part seven. All right, I'm going to write down part seven or I'm going to type down part seven in my phone. You find a bunch of interesting parts, boom. There you go, you got a montage. And then his montage is yet again, there's another point I could bring up. His montages are short. And they're well they're not they're not short I'm lying. His montages are based on segments. So he don't even have to watch the whole playthrough. He could watch the first twenty five parts. Which would take him maybe what, three hours? So three hours he could he could play the playthrough in the background in his head in his headphones like he listened to the music. He could do that for three hours. He hear himself laugh or he hear himself say something interesting. Mark that down. Remember that for later. Do that for three hours. He might have seven, eight, nine, ten parts. Find some other parts for filler. Boom, you got a fifteen minute long montage. It took you no extra time because you was just walking around the house doing chores and doing errands anyway and you was listening to it through your headphones. But, you know, people that run YouTube channels and call it a business, they don't think that way. They don't have forward thinking. They just force their fans to do the work for them. And they force their fans to pay them. To play the games that I'm playing, which we're going to talk about in a moment. Whatever. Uh, one thing I'm sure people in the comments are going to say, oh my god, look at Phil's goatee. It's grown out. It's much bigger. For a while there, he had a very small goatee, and now it's big again. I wonder what happened. He People reads think hater that they crazy about conspiracies. His like I like I'm going bald on my face or something. No. Yeah, Here's he really what happened. Comments he talked Last about. year, a year ago, when I moved across the country, mm -hmm. uh, I remember I was shaving at one point and I misshaved. Like I shaved wrong, and because of that, I trimmed my goatee too small. Thirty-three. And old man. I didn't want to have it look weird where I was growing patches of the goatee out. 
but I never really thought about it. It was never like at the tip of my mind. And it's hilarious when I watch comments on these like vlog videos. Like the hate the comments. Video. Phil's goatee looks like shit. It looks like he's got bald patches in his goatee. It's so hate stupid. The it makes no sense. Obviously, it's just I I shaved it wrong, right? And I never grew out my beard to regrow the goatee. Well, that this past well, week I was sick. This. Remember, I had three days off last week. I was just dying sick, couldn't do work. Dying so I wasn't filming, sick. I wasn't doing nothing. Dying so I grew sick. out the beard, and by the end of this this week here, because I knew I wasn't going to do any vlogs or anything this week, I grew it a out, and, and I finally shaved it. So asshole. as you can see, I've got my original <laughs> goatee back. Yes, it's back in its, in its even original it. form. This dog and I'm going to try to conform it to this shape from now on. Although, you might notice there's some white hairs in there. That's those aren't patches. A lot of people say there's patches. That's not patches. Those are actually white hairs. You know, I'm getting older. I'm 33 years old. Oh no! And uh, you know, I'm gonna start getting white hairs. It's just oh, that's no. it. You know, I'm heading towards my middle age at this old. point. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully, good. I can retain and have a full. Imagine that if I, by the end of the year, I have like a full white goatee. <laughs> but anyway, I know that has nothing to do with the schedule. That's, I knew people would bring it up. That oh, Phil's goatee's bigger, right? Fair All right. Enough. It looks so better. let's talk about this week. Let's look. talk about what you can expect. First of all, I'm gonna tell you right up front. What not to expect this week? What not Number to one, don't expect habit. Ask the King. I'll be honest Fuck with you that. guys, Fuck because I am in the middle of tons of long playthroughs and stuff. <laughs> Those people that paid me $20 for a question, I was sick, you scrubs. Wait till the end of the month. <laughs> I don't Wait know if we're going to have an month. Ask the King this, this month. Amazing. Or, I'm sorry, this this uh, week or even in the next few weeks. What I might do, I know there was no episode of Ask the King in August as I had planned wow. on doing because I was sick. I'm thinking maybe I'll just do one in late September, near the end of the month, and any uh, questions that were patron questions where people uh, pledge twenty dollars or more, I'll answer to get all of those in one big grouping in you that have episode. To wait two months Plus, I think it'll one. be good because I'll have more questions to pull from. Ultimately, it makes the show a little bit better when I have more questions. So, look, 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 look. I, I, I tweeted about this actually, and I didn't know if that was the case because he isn't completely transparent in his uh, schedule that he posts, but I assumed. And I didn't want to say anything about it until I knew for sure. This motherfucker got probably a hundred questions last month, and uh, in uh, August, plus he got like two, maybe three Patreon questions. People had paid twenty dollars to get a question answered. He didn't do Ask the King because he was sick, and apparently he still can't do Ask the King. And now he's gonna do it at the end of this month. So the people that paid twenty dollars the month before last have to wait until the end of this month to get a question answered. They pay 20 fucking dollars and they have to wait more than two months to get a question answered. And the people that sent him free questions, he might have been, you know, he might have had the question written down to answer, but now he's gonna accept questions for an entire month now, you know, instead of him just taking questions for August, now he's gonna take it. I can't even talk tonight. Instead of him taking questions for August, now he's going to take questions for August and September. So if you send him a free question, it's even less of a chance that it'll get answered. Because let's be completely honest, the dude accepts like maybe 100 questions every month. Well, not even every month for every Ask the King, and he only answers like 9 or 10 of them. Why that dog is going ape shit? He only answers like 9 or 10 of them. And, um... Now, instead of 100 questions, you might have 200. So if you send him a free question, you're pretty much fucked because it's not going to get read. It's like winning a lottery to get this dude to answer a question. So, yep. Thanks, people that wasted your time sending him questions. Oh, I'll tell you He's this. There already it. is a thread on the kingofhate.com to post That's up your questions sad. for Ask the King. Please post up your questions continuously in that thread. You'll see it says, we'll be rescheduled. Please post up your questions continuously. Even though I accepted dozens and dozens and dozens of questions last month, Give me more questions this month so I could probably not answer it at the end of this month. Thanks. Well, for, for September, post up in that one. Best and YouTube eventually ever. when I, I settle eventually. in for the day, I'll change it and I'll let everyone know. But it's looking like, yes, it's probably going to be either late September and or early October for the wow. next episode of Ask the King. All right. And that might be the last one for this month, this year. I'm not sure. We have to see how busy I am with other games. But I think Patreon I might be able to squeeze in. one in. In November as well. Mm -hmm, okay. You better, because you don't want to change your Patreon goals. Um, so that's Ask the King. Will not happen this week. Well, your FYI. Patreon perks. The Until Dawn review should happen sometime this week. And what I mean by that I'm is, lazy, so what's not after I film the weekend preview right now, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to film the spoken word vlog style portion, meaning me talking to the camera for Until Dawn. 
But tonight, there's no way I'm going to have time to edit the whole thing. It takes several hours to edit one of these reviews. And this week, I'm going to be bogged down with gameplay all week. Like, at least four days, I'm doing double streams. Several what I'm hours. thinking of is this coming several Friday, to edit that. what Watch I'll do is I'll do Tell one gameplay stream, and then I'll, instead of a second gameplay stream, I'll edit the Until Dawn mm -hmm. thing. I'll do patron stuff, Project and seven. maybe I'll even work a little bit on getting stuff together for that best and worst of Alan Wake montage, okay? So that's what I'm thinking, is <laughs> this Friday night, instead of, oh, halfway. another gameplay stream, take some time out, finish the Alan Wake review, I mean, Alan Wake, oh boy. finish the Until Dawn file. review, and do a few other things, work on a few other things for patrons and stuff like I'll that, okay? So, yes, the Until Dawn review is coming this week, I'm working mm -hmm. some of it tonight, and probably some of it later in the week, and hopefully I'll have it released for you by the weekend, all right? I have some Hopefully. interesting things to say about that game. What I really great, do. I think some people will be surprised what I have to say Hopefully. about Until Dawn. But we'll see, okay? Take a sip. A little like Nestle water. Uh, now, as you can probably hear right now, I'm sounding a little bit better. I still got this really nasty cold symptom like you. You going on that's voice. kind of really just nasty drippiness down the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. And it is annoying me. But I'm getting a little bit better every single day. I'm hoping by the end of this week... I'll be in tip-top shape, which will be great, shape. because as you know, there's tons of games shape coming out shortly. To sit on Let's talk about this week, what I'll be playing, and <clears throat> what I won't be playing, so there's no mis misconceptions, and uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the future, the rest of the month. All Why right? are we talking about the so, rest of the month? This, this week, is the what am I doing? I will be continuing Metal Gear Solid preview. 5, yeah, I'll be Metal continuing Solid with Mad Max, hates. and this week, after good. having a little bit of a hiatus there, I'm going to begin mixing in Fallout New Vegas again into the gameplay schedule. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you're going to have two streams a day mm -hmm. of one of those, or, or two of those three games. Why are you touching your All right. so much? Um, Stop it. And then it. come the weekend, you know, I only do one stream on Friday, like I just told you, because Friday, the second half of the day, I'll be working on the Until Dawn review. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday, yes, I only do one stream those days, but with good reason. You know, Saturday, I'm out doing errands, and Sunday, I'll be doing the weekend preview, like right now, and also after How that, I'll probably be working reason? on things like the best and worst wait, wait, of Alan Wake and wait, stuff. Wait. Like. So, this is, this is the dude that has a Patreon account. You know, alleging uh, 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 to the fact that he doesn't have a lot of money. He streams one time on Sunday because he does the weekend preview Sunday. So instead of streaming for two hours Sunday, he gets in front of his computer. He clicks a couple times in OBS and he gets the, uh, he gets the layout on the screen and he talks for 30 minutes. Instead of you streaming for two hours, you talking for 30 minutes is going to kill the second stream. What? And he only streams once on Saturday because he does errands on Saturday. You know, because he can't do stuff during the week. He has to do everything one day. Whatever, that's just bad time management on his time. But you would think a person that's broke or a person that's in debt would try to spend more time trying to not be broke or not be in debt. Whatever, his yeah. problem, not so, mine. So, we're talking... Well, 11 gameplay streams this week. If I alternate between those games yes, evenly, sure each game should be played those. around three to four times this week, which I think will be perfect. Okay? I'm sure a human can watch 11 three-hour streams in one week. Yes. How's it going to work? What's the I'm schedule? Sure one person can well, watch I don't want to commit to anything 100%, because there may be a day where... I don't want to commit to anything 100%. Why do you do a weekend preview then? Shouldn't this, isn't this basically your schedule for the week? But you don't want to commit to anything. So why the fuck does this video exist? Why does I'm this video exist? I'm craving to play one of them over the other. Maybe there's a, a big development in one game and I want to play it more right away rather than another. What I will Whatever. tell you is this. This Monday, the mm -hmm. 7th of, of September, the first stream of the day will be Mad Max and the second stream will be do tomorrow, more Fallout Even though most of the people that watch this okay. video are going to watch That tomorrow, obviously means that Tuesday I'm probably going to want to return to Metal Gear Solid 5. Whatever. So I'll probably do that on first stream on Tuesday. And then second stream may be one of those games. Wednesday then obviously will be dependent on what I choose for Tuesday and so on and so forth. Oh, oh, oh. So four else days straight. Let me make sure and, and confirm if this is on the screen. Remember, you guys, remember, everyone on Twitch that's successful, everyone that streams and that's successful, people on Twitch, all they do is beg for money. They say, please donate, please donate, please donate. They do that all day. That's the whole focus of the stream. DSP, he doesn't do that. He's a real streamer. He doesn't care about donations. He doesn't care about getting money from his fans. He doesn't ask for donations at all. 
except when he does a weekend preview, he puts patreon.com backslash feel on the fucking screen. Alternating between those three games. This coming Friday, Mario Maker, Super Mario Maker is coming out. And I want to check this game out. I'm interested. Take a trip back to the past. Watch DSP's E3 Nintendo video or watch my version of DSP's E3 Nintendo video. Find a Mario Maker part. He completely, he puked on Mario Maker. He didn't even shit on it. He puked on it. He compared it to fucking, uh... What's the name of that Media Molecule game? I can't even think of it. Uh, Sackboy, blah, 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 platform. I, I don't remember the name. I never fucking played that game. He compared it to that game. And he talked about how that game never blew up and it never became a huge deal. And then Mario Maker isn't going to blow up and a lot of people don't want to make Mario levels and all of that shit. But fast forward, now he he's so interested in Mario Maker, like he can't wait to play it. Interested in it. When I was a kid, I've said this for a few videos now. When I was a kid, I was actually interested in designing my own Mario levels. I actually mm -hmm. had this like big drawing art paper. Sure long did. ass paper. Mm -hmm. And I would draw in mini little Mario levels from Super Mario Brothers One of man, if I could make my own level, I wonder if this is what this is what I would like want it to look now, like and have a jump. I'm not gonna question him bringing up his own past because only he knows and no one else knows, but if you really design your own Mario levels on pen and paper like that, like you're talking about, why you didn't talk about it when you talked about Mario Maker during E3? Why did you instead shit on Mario Maker? I can't wait for somebody in the comment to tell me the name of the game I'm thinking of. I'm just hearing Sackboy in my head. Little Big Planet. That's the name of it. Little fucking Big Planet. He compared it to Little Big Planet. And I remember when I did my video basically reacting to his video of, um, of E3, I said, yeah, you know, Little Big Planet still kind of was a big deal, but you can't compare Mario Maker to Little Big Planet. It's fucking Mario. That's like comparing a uh, Big Mac to a burger you can fry on a skillet at, at home and make it look like a Big Mac. The legit Big Mac is still going to have more clout than your homemade Big Mac. Because it's a fucking Big Mac. Mario was going to get way more clout than fucking Sackboy. It's fucking Mario. You can make a Mario coloring book and this shit would sell 20 million copies. Because it's fucking Mario. But, whatever. Out here and Apparently enemy. DSP has always wanted to design his own Mario levels. Even though it's been ways to do that for the last, what, 15 years? He never did it. All those Mario hacks that exist, he never played them. When he first heard about Mario Maker during E3, he shat on it. But, no, he wants to make his own Mario Here and this now. and that. And it was cool for me to do that when I was a kid. It was like, I felt like I was a game creator. <sighs> and I, I'll be honest with you, I never really had that craving in any other game besides Super Mario. Look at his eyes. And all of a sudden, Mario Maker is actually coming out. So what I want to do this yeah, Friday when it releases, I'm going to go pick it up. Yes, I am going to be playing people. Mario Maker this Friday. I'm going to be messing around with it on my Wii U, and we're going to see exactly what happens. So, you know, if people like it or not, it'll be a session, right? I may play it more the next week or over the weekend if people are liking it and they want to see me do more. If anything, what I might do is make one or two levels myself, mess around with the tools and stuff for exploration of the game. no creativity. And then maybe jump online and see some of the levels that people have been making. I'm sure they'll have some kind of a system where you can... See people, what people have made, and maybe see what's been voted the highest, similar to like Little Big Planet had, and maybe check some of those out. <clears throat> and if I go like super in depth or not, we'll determine on he the feedback. Do people like the, the content? Are they enjoying it or not? People won't enjoy it. It's an One quick game. thing. Don't people worry, I know there's been all this Nintendo controversy game. around the internet Tucker, Kyle, about Nintendo's going to content ID claim everyone on this game. I am a managed partner oh my God. with Machinima. Here we go. They vouch for me, therefore I don't get content ID matches. I could get copyright strikes, which is the issue that I had these past few weeks. And by the way, talk about good news, anymore. those Shut copyright strikes up. are completely cleared up, so I have nothing negative against any of my channels on YouTube whatsoever. I'm in the clear. Thank you to those of you who were very patient when I could not live stream. Thanks to Machinima for working with Fuck YouTube again. Machinima. That stuff cleared up. Awesome, right? 
So because I'm a managed partner with Machinima, I'm able to, to do Mario Maker coverage and I have to worry about them content ID matching all of my videos. So don't worry, whatever content I put out of that game will Thanks, be fully monetizable and I won't have to worry about, oh I'm no, I can't make a living now make because all Nintendo will all the ad revenue on the videos of their game, Machinima which is such great guys. preposterous. So that's going to be this Friday, the and then the weekend will be dependent on if people like Mario Maker, you want to see more, or maybe, ah, you had a day away from Metal Gear, go back to Metal Gear, people yada, yada, yada. People are going right. to see Mario Maker. So there's a couple this things I didn't mention that for this week that it's I want to throw out there to let you know what's going on. I did not mention mm -hmm. Tearaway Unfolded. He's this is the re-release, remaster of the game Tearaway, which was actually very popular it's on the PS a Vita a couple of years back. Made by the same people who I made think it's Little a Big Plan. And a remaster, I am interested in playing the game. He's not going to play it. But with the fact that I've got Metal Gear Solid 5, Mad Max, Fallout, and yes, I'm going to try out Mario Maker this week, I don't want to put another game in there. Wow, I think that would be insane suicide. Like, I know from experience now, last year at the end of the year, time. there were two weeks Holy where there were like seven shit. new games that came out. And I said, I'm going to play them all, and I tried to alternate between them all. It That's flopped miserably because people schedule. were like, you're playing too much at once. We want more of the game we want to see right away. And because you're not doing it, we basically I lost attention. I couldn't retain the viewership. I love how he listens to his fans when they want him to do less work. Not and by the time that I was more. at the end of long playthroughs like Dragon Age Inquisition, no one was watching anymore. Because I don't want to do long. that. I want to be boring. focusing on only a small amount of games like Metal Gear from him. It's so that I can actually boring. give attention to them. Now, Fallout New Vegas is a downtime like playthrough, so that's actually him. not it a big deal that I'm not boring. focusing on it all the time. But I want to be consistently playing Metal Gear Solid 5 and Mad Max at least every couple of days, a few times a week, so I can get through those games by the end of the month. Because it is get ultimately my goal that by the end of September... I've I love playing video games. Get through them. I'm gonna, I want to get through these games. Get through them. Completed Fallout New Listen Vegas, word, Metal Gear Solid 5, and Mad Max. All right? No games. matter what else I may play this month, whether I mess with Delve with Mario Maker, I end up playing Tearaway or not. Words, later this month, there's other games like project. Soma, the survival horror game. And then later on in the month, I might Are trap the new Tony Hawk game. Ultimately, my goal is to finish those three games by the end of the month. And if I've done that, then I feel like I've done my job and I've accomplished job. what I meant to do this month. All right? I don't think anyone fathomed that Metal Gear Solid 5 was going to be a 50 to 100 hour game. At this point now, I've played around 15 maybe if you did hours, like two hours or not but in two one hours, week, you did two minutes so you figure another week, maybe I'll have played another 10 to 15 hours, another week, another 10 to 15 hours, so DSP hopefully by the research. end of the month, I'll have beaten games it. Mad Max, I've heard it's research. pretty long, but I don't know how don't long. Do I'm sure it's not 50 hours long. But I'm liking the game, and I'm playing it at my own pace, and I hope that everyone who is watching that playthrough is enjoying it. I'll be yep, honest, I am disappointed that a lot of people are just saying, it. this month is Metal Gear Month, I don't care about anything else. And I'm like, but Mad Max is pretty good. It's a unique combination of different kinds of gameplay. It ties in with the movie. I just saw the movie it's this past week and really liked it. And I like that I can make references now to stuff I saw in the movie. And so people, forget it. It's not, it's not Metal Gear, I don't care Batman about game it. Game I hate Batman that attitude. Combat. you got to have a more open mind. Even if you just look give at videos a look, okay, I don't like the game. But so many people have this closed-minded mentality that I'm not going to check Max. out anything unless it's the big overhyped thing, right? That's a shame. Look at him. I mean, I'm happy if you him. are watching the Metal Gear Solid Shilling 5 playthrough, and that's all you're watching. Great, but I wish people would give Look other stuff him. a chance. I mean, Shilling Until Dawn, let's it. face it. People are telling me my Until Dawn playthrough is one of the best play. This is a common thing with DSP, when he plays games that aren't hyped, and he likes them, and he wants more people to watch them. He's done this with, he, he's doing it with Mad Max now. He did it with uh, the fucking... I can't come up with the name of these games. I'm sorry if I, I'm sorry I didn't do research ahead of time. I mean, this is my first time watching it, so I couldn't do research on these games. But it's not the it's not the last time. He's done it multiple times. He did it when he was playing uh, Majora's Mask on the 3DS. When he was like, "Oh, get, 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 give it a look, give it a look, give it a shot. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Give it a shot, give it a shot." When he plays these games and he likes them, and they're not getting good views, he shields the fuck out of them. And instead of him talking about the game he should talk about, he talks about the other game. For instance, he might do a Metal Gear Solid pre-stream, and he'll talk about Mad Max on the pre-stream. Whatever. Things I've done in Let years, like to return to classic me. People were absolutely saying it's, you know, it's a must-watch if you're a fan it's of me. Must-watch. That's an awesome feeling. 
to hear that from, from fans who maybe haven't even watched my stuff in a while and they came back to watch the playthrough. And let me tell you, the, oh my god, that playthrough's got ridiculous views. You guys are awesome. For I love it. I mean, I, I love the game. I'm happy that I played the game the way that I did. Did honest commentary. I'm happy that you liked the fact views. that I played it twice, different ways. Well, let me, uh, I just want to say this. If you do something... You know, something that, that, that requires on actual humans to interact with the... If you make a product that's required, you know, and, and your product requires humans to interact with it, whether it's music or movies or TV shows or books, novels, comics, anime, uh, fucking manga, video games, YouTube videos, Twitch streaming, anything, and people say, well... The stuff you did recently was really good. It was way better than everything else you ever did in a long time. And I really like it more than I like everything else you've been doing recently. If you hear that, that will make you say, damn, maybe I should change the way I'm doing stuff. Or it would either make you say that or it would make you say, damn, maybe I'm doing something wrong and I need to change it to when I'm not doing something wrong. That's what happened to him with his Until Dawn playthrough. Guess what? He didn't change anything. Thank he you, still thank looks you, at thank you. I can't say thank you enough. But if you give that game a shot, why wouldn't you give? Nope. Metal Gear Solid Five's out. Metal Gear Solid Five. That's all I want to talk about to this month. Metal Gear Solid Five, and that's how people are. I don't know. But man, Max is boring, and you look at the chat all the time. Take a sip. Me, I'm always people willing to give anything a shot because he wasn't looking at the chat but because it, looks it was like, legit. But commentary. just to give you some perspective. Less than half the amount of people who watched my Metal Gear Solid 5 playthrough so far have checked out any of the videos of Mad Max. It's about, got about half the viewership. That's silly in my opinion. At least give it a chance, but I digress. Alright, so wow. that's kind of the idea. So I'm not doing Tearaway this week because that would be silly. I need to start another playthrough this week. I mean, I would have no room to fit it. Maybe by the end of the month, if I do finish up with a game and I have time to do it, then I'll do it. But I'm not going to make any promises there. I certainly don't want to start up no with a new game. Play I don't games. Have a chance to, you really play games for a living. Maybe, no time maybe to I'll play hold games. off on it and something, maybe as things get slower or into next month. Five hours a, slow a day week, equals a living. Then. Okay. Um, the Godfather Fucking, co-op playthrough. Uh, yeah, I know, everyone. Let's face it. At this point, Godfather? that playthrough kind of is a little screwed. And what I mean by that no is if you've watched all the videos, you know we played this throughout the entire uh, month, half of July and all of August. We had planned to finish it by the end of August. We actually put in extra time to try to finish wow, it by the end of August. Like I, I played sick, extra, uh... three extra hours than I thought I was going to. I still didn't beat it because the final mission of the game is insanely, ridiculously difficult. I'm pretty sure if I played it for about another one to two hours, I could beat it. But right now, I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of people clamoring for that. They want to see the current game. Who cares? So eventually, Leanna and I will take a day, maybe a Saturday, coming up, where we will actually finish the game and do the co-op commentary. But at this point, again, it's not going to be this week. I don't want to promise anything to anyone of when it's going to be. We have to wait for it to slow down a little bit, or at least for me to get <clears throat> more meatily into these games that I'm playing. All right. Okay. So, okay. He can't do as the king. You know, he got paid $40 at least at the minimum by two different people to answer questions on Ask the King. If he can't do that, why would I assume he can play fucking Godfather? Dude, if the Godfather playthrough doesn't get finished, that's pitiful. When you have not even not even two hours of gameplay left. So, good lord. To recap, ladies and gentlemen, patrons, please check Patreon. Make sure your pledges went through. If it didn't, you only have a couple days left to update your info. Trolls, and then I'm going to start working on the sure perks by the end of money. this week for people who please pledged in August. Send okay. me the money, troll please pledges. nominate your funniest and favorite moments from the Alan Wake Do playthrough work for on TheKingOfHate.com for Watch all of my really old ass videos and that spend that six hours, so seven hours of your day watching it. videos and do my work for me. And that's going around roughly the middle to late September. Pay me and do my work for me. This week in particular, don't expect Tearaway Unfolded. Don't expect, All right, don't expect The Godfather. At one time because I'm already because ingrained can, you know, in so much other stuff that don't expect it's not enough that. time. However, do expect the Until Dawn review by the end of the week. Do expect many more sessions of Metal Gear Solid 5, expect Mad Max, Fallout New over Vegas, and, over and, and over. some Mario Maker like by the end of the like week. It. And... Outside of all that, this rest of this month, when I look at the actual calendar, it looks to me like Soma is coming out, not next week, but the week after. And it looks to me like at the end of the month, we've got that one day when it's NBA 2K and Tony Hawk. At this, at this rate, NBA 2K, with the fact that these games I'm playing are so long, I'm leaning strongly against play playing it. NBA 2K this year. I'm thinking maybe I'll just play Tony Hawk and He's finish off whatever games like I'm still bitch. playing at that point and haven't beaten yet. 
All right. That Tony Hall game is uh, going to be Expect garbage. reviews when I start finishing these games up. <laughs> yes, I will be reviewing be them. But I have to finish them up before I can do that. Okay, I don't want to jump the oh, gun. He's going to regret that. Try to review a game me, before yeah, I feel like I'm giving it a fair let shake. Me, let me pause right here. Let me pause right here. Even if you don't like NBA 2K, if you don't, if you don't care about basketball, even if you really, really hype for the Tony Hall game, you cannot tell me as a YouTuber that plays games for a job, you know, plays games for a living, that it's a good choice to play Tony fucking Hawk over NBA 2K. You know NBA 2K is going to be hyped up like a motherfucker and a bunch of people are going to want to see it. Play both. Tony Hawk is like what? Might take three or four streams to beat it. NBA 2K, you could play that maybe seven or eight streams before you get tired of it. Maybe a little bit more. Well, no, just skip just skip the NBA 2K uh, uh, 16. That's why I Good wanted job. to play Until Dawn a second time and experience the other kind of side of the story before I reviewed the game fully because I didn't want to kind of jump the gun and say, wow, I really like the first playthrough, but what's the replayability? No, I don't know. Let me review it now. That wouldn't make sense, okay? Um, outside of all that, I'm in a good mood. I mean, I am. I, I love the hardcore gaming season. Regardless of the fact that I feel shitty in my Made neck and everything, you know. Season. Right now, it's sore. Right here, if I touch right here, inside my throat, it hurts because I got this fucking drippage coming down my throat. And it sucks, you know, but I'm happy. I got my streaming capabilities point. back. The copyright strikes are gone. Views are pretty good right now. People seem to be anymore. tuning in every day. By the way, I'm using the new views. YouTube gaming streaming. I don't know how many of you have noticed this or not. I am using YouTube gaming on a daily basis to stream now. I have absolutely no idea if I'm even going to get paid for any of it because the way it works is so ambiguous and different from the old way that he's I used to stream. But the streams show up faster now. More people are saying it's available to watch and it's easier to watch it on the YouTube gaming app than it was earlier. My viewership seems to be pretty good every day that I stream on this thing. So I really have no complaints right now. Things are going pretty good. FYI, the final thing I'll say in this video, two, I'll give two gratuitous plugs, okay? Oh, good. Number one, I am going to be updating my Patreon for the month of September Wait, shortly. You know? How is this a gratuitous plug that he had to warn us about? He talked about Patreon in the beginning of the video, and then it says Patreon on the fucking screen. If I could... Yeah, I'm pointing right. It says Patreon on the fucking screen. You don't have to give a gratuitous plug. It's on the screen. I see the link over here. You can check it out now if you want, but nothing's updated for the month of September yet. This month in particular, if you've been waiting to pledge, oh my this God, might be the one month you want to pledge because there's a special event I'm going to do in late October where the patrons are going to nominate and vote on a fun marathon I'm going to do. I think people are going to love the idea. This I is the thing. This is the logic I've been missing. How long is this? Oh, wow. We, uh, we might finish this before we get to 15 minutes, which is great. Just like I said a long time ago, usually these videos go, they end up being double the length of a normal video. Like, for instance, this video is 23 minutes long. My video is probably going to be around 45 or 50 minutes long. Anyway, I don't understand the logic of, oh, man, if, if you were waiting to be a patron, this month is the perfect month because we're going to do something that's going to be super interactive next week. You've been having people vote on stuff. They're going to get to vote on stuff. Spoiler alert, they're going to get to vote on something. What's special about that? They've already been able to vote. But it's going to be a horror marathon. They get to vote on the horror games you play. They get to vote on the costume you wear when you stream. I don't know, but it's going to be voting for something. It's not like it's going to be something unique. I can't wait to see what people start nominating for this idea. But I'll get to that. I don't want to spoil it yet. I'm going to get to it in a little bit. But this is going to be an awesome month for Patreon, but I haven't updated it or anything yet. So you'll hear me talking more about it as we get further into the month. Especially awesome by the end of this week when I start working on like everyone else's perks. And those are out of the way so then for August, then I can work on September. If they want to be okay. a part of the awesome um, month. Good job. <clears throat> Outside of all that's funny, because I still, I guarantee you there's still stuff I haven't mentioned. Like, I have a Duke Nukem statue this month, that's up, or this month, this week, that's Selling up for sale. Stuff on YouTube. And, you know, there's Against all these the things that I'm doing constantly. It's hard for me to even keep them all in my mind when, you know, did I talk about it all in the video. Podcast. Some people ask me, when am I, I going to do the next Hate Live podcast? I don't know. Oh. I'll probably tell you it'll probably be <laughs> not this week coming. Maybe the week doing. after or maybe the week after that. So either the next to last or last week of September, I'll probably do a podcast that will cumulatively cover all but the games that I've been playing and September, talk about some events and things, you know, and news happen. and stuff the that's been going on. But I don't have time right now. I'm in so many games right now. So many 50 games. hour long freaking games that I have okay, to keep so plugging many games. away One, at the games. games. I don't want to fall three so games. far behind that I'm playing these Better games in October when there's other games out. coming so out that could be a nightmare, games. it could be the worst possible thing. I have to dedicate myself, I have to tough through this sickness, 
and play as much as I can and get as play far as, as I can, I can. And that's my goal for you. Still play right? only five hours. That's a day. really it for the weekend preview, everyone. FYI, five no five patron hours a day. crawl as much as this I can. week because the patrons haven't fully processed yet. Like I said, <laughs> next week we'll have the patron <laughs> crawl. The thank Fuck you to you the August patrons. The come through. I thank everyone if the here. The money don't clear. You don't get a you don't get a shout out. Preview. Please spread the word. So people check out the weekend preview. I've actually noticed the past two weeks the weekend preview has gotten a really good view. This is my last time pausing right before the end of the video. Your money has to 100% clear through to his fucking account before he even gives you his shout out. But he shits on people on Twitch when motherfuckers on Twitch get donations and they don't even know if the donation is legit or not. People get donations and then two hours later, somebody done filed a claim and they get the money back. Those people get the shout out. No, no, the DSP, the money has to 100% clear. You're not even getting half a shout out from him until, he, the, until our money is in his account. What a nice guy he is, right? So that's good. It means that more people are watching, and that means that you know more people are in the know on what I'm doing, and that's a great feeling. About views. FYI, if things do change with my schedule, or if you want to know the concrete games I'm playing every day, check out my Twitter. The schedule shouldn't they, change. As they call me DSP, that's where nightly I put up an updated schedule, so you'll always know what anymore. I'm going to be up to the next day. All right? That's it, everyone. Peace out. Thank you for watching the weekend preview. I really appreciate it. Oh I'm excited boy. for all the new gameplay this week. I hope to see you on stream. If I don't, I hope to see you for, on the videos on YouTube. Peace out, everyone. Have a good night. I will see you for gameplay very soon. How oh, excited. No, no patron crawl for you, uh, for you tonight. But, yeah, this video has been about 45 minutes long, so I'm, I'm proud of that. I didn't make it go longer than I wanted to make it go. And I think I might have said this in the beginning. These videos are hosted on a new channel. They're not hosted on my original channel anymore because of um, nonsense. Nonsense that I'd rather not talk about. At least not anymore. But I'm going to pull a DSP and I'm going to talk about it like every week anyway. But, um, yeah. What today is? Upcoming things for me. Because he could do a weekend preview. I can do one too. Upcoming things for me. I still have to upload the second annual Pandalay uh, Endurance Stream. I have to upload um, an Endurance Stream of the entire DSP Metal Gear Solid 2 playthrough. That shit is like 12 hours long. And this week sometime, and this information is going to be extremely irrelevant when you see this video, but this week sometime I'm going to do uh, the finale, maybe, of the Pandalay Endurance Stream on Twitch. I might finish it. I might not. I don't know yet. Besides that, mm, I might do a clone machine stream when uh, Mario Maker come out. But, I mean, if I do, I'll upload a video when it's live and when I'm actually streaming. So that's, you know, it's no point in me mentioning that. But, thank you for watching this video. If you sat around this long and, uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you excited for the week, uh, the week of DSP coming up with Mario Maker and Metal Gear Solid, the game he hates, and Mad Max, the game no one else wants to see, and Fallout, the game that's really old. Hopefully you're excited, and hopefully you can watch DSP's entire Alan Wake playthrough, then go on his Nazi, uh, Nazi forums and tell DSP your favorite parts of the playthrough so he can do his montage and he can get paid for it. No, no, never mind. He already got paid for it. So hopefully you can help him do his job. And uh, first comment, suck it. And that's it. I'm not going to render this. I'm just going to upload it as is because I don't feel like waiting for shit to render. So, see you.